Hi friends, welcome to Tutors Funny Channel. Today I am going to teach how to make the ERP warehouse management system using Laravel. This is a repository level standard project. Okay, so here before we are diving to the project, first we have to understand what are the entities we have to do the project. Okay, so we have we no need to create the UI UX design. Okay, so it takes too much of time. So first you have to implement the functionality. What are the functionality? We have to include this particular project. We have need a login, user login, registration part, and category of the category. What are the category? Okay, we have to include the category. Okay, so if it is a category, it means a TV, which is one category. The TV category, we have a products. Okay, one category has many products. One category has many problems. The same thing we have to associate the order, client, invoice, and payment. These are the, all the things we have to out associate the relationship. Everything we have to study step by step. Okay. So this is this is roughly I am get the project idea. This is how the project flow is working. We have to we have to first we have to get the category, products, order. Okay, the class. So third one is client. We have to create the client. Okay, so the, after that we have to create the order and invoice, everything you have to create. Okay, so the how to create this step by step will take. So first what you are going to do is, I am going to go to install the Laravel. So I am going to go to Laravel installation. Go to here, you type Laravel. You have to go to the official website of Laravel. Click on this. Click the documentation. Select the Laravel 11. Laravel 11, you have to Laravel 11 installation. You have to go over here. Copy this command. Going to go to G drive. You have to select this project. You have to write the project is where Laravel project. Laravel 11 project. Project. Here I am going to install my Laravel installation. You have to type cmd command. Right click on it. You have to type this one warehouse management system. Warehouse. Warehouse. Manage. Manage. Press enter key on your keyboard. You have to wait until the project gets installed. Now I, now I install the Laravel project successfully. Now go inside the folder. Here warehouse app. Here I am going to open up my VS Code editor. CMD code piece dot to open up my project into a VS code editor this is my folder structure and file structure okay this is a folder structure and file structure first what I am going to do is I am going to go to my uh, XAMPP I am not running the XAMPP yet I am going to open my XAMPP server And open up my start start okay so we have to start the apache and my sql so in order to work with my connect with my db okay so we have to use it this sam okay it connected successfully you have to make sure it it it, it, it both apache and my sql connected or not you have to make sure first that you have to confirm it okay so after that after done the stuff what you're going to do is here we have to go to my Exam. Click on the admin button. It open up the uh, da uh, database dashboard. Okay, here we have we have created the da database for warehouse management system. So we only we are database only we have created other table and everything we have to done by the Laravel inside the Laravel project using the migration command. Okay, first step you have to create the database. So that's the thing you have to create. So let's open up my SQL is opening. At the very first time, it little bit takes some time to load it. After that, it will be take care of it. Now here we have to get the database DB warehouse management system. Create our database is created. DB warehouse management. Okay. Now here. You will select this one, Control C to copy this database. Go to my Laravel project. There is a file which is a .env file. Here we have configured my database. Okay, so we have configured the database. So click on this env file. So you go to 
the section of db connect this section here the default is coming as sqlite here we change this one as a mysql this one also select all this shift plus forward slash to uncomment it here you have to change the name it as db warehouse management system that's it that's the thing you have to write it okay uh, when you install the xam server the default username is root password is blank i have gave uh, if you if you install the xam server what is the username and password you have gave they have they have provided over here that's the thing you have to do it after that can file save all to confirm it that's the thing you have to write it so if you want to run the application and check open up the terminal window first you have to migrate the application php artisan using the migration command migrate Yeah, you have done the migration successfully okay okay so this project i am doing by the repository pattern that is a very efficient efficient thing to do the project okay so this is project i am going to using as a api base not a web based api base uh, what's the advantages of doing the api base you have to connect this project to any other devices any other platforms we are using we are is the same warehouse management system if you want to uh, import if you get the data of the flutter app or react native app every app it should go so you have to instead of doing the web app again you have to make it as an api app okay this is the api we are using the the front end we have to see the view js or react js everything anything else so here we have based as a repository pattern okay. now first what you are going to do is we have to do the migration part first type so how to make the migration repository pattern how to do the application you might have you go to my tutors funny everything i will be clearly explain it so we have a laravel okay, laravel this one okay you will be able to see the mastering the our api pattern this one this is how the api pattern should be work okay the api pattern should be this is how it works okay so here this create a project you have to write this all things are done now first i am going to create the database migration so uh, migration means we have already created the database inside the database we have created the tables when, when you create the table you are using the plural so what are the tables is there first i am going this one we have to create later on category table we have created so here we have to use it categories okay you have to use s when you create the table that's the efficient way to create the system so i just copy this one so here right click so here i'm going to make this one as a categories first table should be categories categories okay so migration categories okay so your migration you are using categories okay so you have, you have to use it instead of using this you have to simply you have to use it instead of using this here we have you create this migration if you run the migration command command you have to create separate one uh, category table also you have created the model also created okay you have to separately you have to create both instead of writing this like we have to simply we have to implement this one it automatically take care of the migration path php artisan make model category m m which will be migration file which will be created so it's copy you can see here it will be created both the model which is which is nothing but communicate with the database okay it's, it will be the if you run the command the database migration will be created the data inside the database folder migration folder here the model has been created here okay this one should be more important stuff the migration and model the model is a part we are communicate with the database we have all the model we are configured the database schema the migration file we have created the table the purpose of create the table then right click it so here php parts and make model model we have created the not a singular this is a singular not a plural we have tried a singular category not categories okay so here if you run this command you can see the table has been here it, it automatically take care of table as it will be laravel it, it automatically take the table plural letter here we no need to import it here category has been created this is the beauty of you have created the category simple step you follow that 
very simple. Keep in your mind. Okay, so now okay, Laravel table has been created. After that, what's the thing is model has been created. Okay. Now table, what are the things we have to include the category? What the table we have to include the category? We have a category name, category, we have to write category code, any, anything else. Okay, so category code, anything else. We have to import the category code. Uh, we have to, what are the things we have given my previous project. Let's look at it. Okay, these are things. Okay, category code, these are things. Okay, we have to import it. So I'm going to type this one. Okay, category table string, category code. We have to write this table. We have to import the string data type here. Here, this is the single quotation. You have to write category code. You have to cat code. Oh, category code, cat code, simply category code, same thing, just copy it and paste over here, category name, your cat name, after that, we have a boolean type, which is uh, this category is, is true or false, well, if the product, if the category is not available, you have to make it as status false, so you have to write here, it's a boolean type, category, it's a boolean, status should be, status default as zero. Zero mean it's false. The default select as false. You have to make sure as one mean the default the product is available or disabled. Okay, when the category is not available right, right now, we are not doing just that category category in your warehouse. So your default is you have to instead of delete, you have to status you have to select as false, it will be become as false. This is how you do it. Let's select save all. Now let's select save all. Before you have to migrate the file, you have to make this one as PHP migrate. PHP artisan migrate. Run the migrate to migrate. That has been migrated. Now let's go over here to check it. Check it out. What happened here? Categories here. So effective it's working. Now let's done the migration part okay now let's go to my controller section so controller section select the app folder here i'm going to create the repository pattern so select right click the app folder new folder you have to write this one is a category category repository repository so here we have a documentation get the repository okay so you have to write here category repository here we have to two things we have to implement this here inside this folder one is a category so write category interface interface interface.php okay category interface.php and another one is a category implementation another one is a category impl impl implementation dot php we have created two different files first one is a category interface second is implementation Category interface, what I'm going to do is you have to do the simple stuff, simple implementation. So, first one we have to interface, you have to look at the interface, we have to create this function. Okay. So, this one I'm going to copy this here. This block you can get this one interface here. You have to create the create the repository pattern. You have two different files category employee interface implementation interface. So, you have to create these two interface first interface. You have to create this one namespace. You have to give this one category repository. This is a namespace. The, my interface is I don't where inside the app folder category repository. Okay, so the name is this category interface. You have to copy this and paste it. Okay, this interface name is category interface. Okay, this consists of the functionality store function. This all the functions only there. Okay, here it will change it as a category. Get all category. This is based on the category section. Okay. Update category. Delete category. So you have to make the things like this. 
okay these are the things you have to do after that this all things just the implementation of the interface is implementation only this one we have to work with the implementation here implementation the implementation what i am going to do is here we have to do the thing is so here you can say implementation stuff here just copy it this all things are there okay you don't worry you just copy and you have to arrange them i will be explaining Okay, if you are right and I explain it through take too much of time to complete the project. Okay, this is the standard level. Now this store method all the things have implemented to in implementation. So what is the project? Category report repository. The folder name where it's reside on the inside the folder category repository. So you have to in this interface you have to implement it over here. This interface you have to implement it here. So how to implement it? App category inside the app. It's a Category repository under the category repository, we have uh, this interface. We name it here, put it here. This interface, category interface. So, the model, which model? Category model. Category model. Because why the, the data should be passing via the category, uh, the model to the database. Okay, right. This implementation, this one just rename it. This one copy and paste it over here. Implementation, you have to paste it over here. This interface, this one, this interface, you just rename it, copy and paste it over here. This, this implement from this interface, category interface, this implementation. Store method, create, first one is a create method, uh, get all and all things. So let me do it. First create table, when you create the record through where this model through. So you have to define the model category. Okay, what's the data is all things that we have look at step by step. Don't worry. Okay, so here here we have, we have uh, any doubt you can ask me on the command. Uh, I'll be seeing my next video. Thank you.